Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange, and in this week in 3D Metal Model News, starting as usual with Fascinations. You know, usually I spend the night before trying to get preliminary information together and get things set up, and I was all prepared to talk about how there was nothing new from Fascinations this week, except they had added some pictures to the Iconics R2, D2, and X-Wing fighter. Got up this morning, and it turns out those two models have moved over to the What's New page. And if I go to Innova Toys, to their new products page, you can see that now the Iconics R2-D2 and X-Wing are available. So that brings the total of new Star Wars models to nine in the last month. That's a lot of new Star Wars models. I'm really excited, and I'm also just a, a little bit stressed over the thing. It's exciting to have so many new models. I wonder how long it's going to take me to get around to all of them. But with the two new models, right before they came out with them, they, they added some more pictures to the page, to the website. More 360 view was available, and there were several pictures to go on, so you could see a lot more of the detail. And they also added the instructions, so you can see the online instructions. They did that right before releasing it, which was really cool, because sometimes the models get released and all of that information isn't even up to date yet. And I did look through the instructions a little bit myself last night. One thing I noticed, the X-Wing, the new, the, the Iconics X-Wing looks to be a very similar build to the original X-Wing. And one of the things that stuck out to me is the way the X of the X-Wings comes together and the way they slide into the body is very similar, if not the same, as the original X-Wing. Not like the Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron model was done slightly differently where they sat in and a part folds on top of them where the original, you kind of put the pieces together and slide them through and raise them and attach them, which for me is a one of my first builds was a li really challenging and I think I got it backwards at first. But I don't think it's gonna be a big deal for this larger model. It does look like they've added a little bit more detail to the top of the X-Wing, but mostly it's very much the same model, just a bit bigger. But that's just a preliminary grant, a glance through the instructions. I will say that the canopy though, however, seems to be one solid piece, whereas the original X-Wing was, the windows were just left out, and so it was really thin pieces, and it was very difficult to bend it properly without warping it. Now the R2 model looks very much the same build, but there were some improvements that were initially pointed out to me by CodeWiki, so thank you, CodeWiki, for pointing them out. I did kind of look and compare myself. The way the upper part of the arms comes together, that curve at the top has more tabs to support it now, as well as there's a side center piece that used to just kind of hang there. And if you caught it on something, you could pull it out, but it looks like they've added a tab to the bottom to help hold that in place. So some minor improvements there as well, and a little more detail. One thing that's kind of come back to light here recently, I don't know if you remember some time back, Target had an exclusive Metal Earth model related to the Star Wars Solo movie. They had the Millennium Falcon in red, and it's the Solo version with the centerpiece still there. And it was a Target exclusive. It was originally just with the movie, then it was sold separately. It looks like they still have a lot of them left, maybe, because it's now on clearance. So if that's a model you've thought about getting, Now's the time to jump on it. If you are fortunate enough to have a Target red card, you can get shipping for free, so you're just paying for the model, and for, uh, if not, you're gonna have to pay a few bucks for shipping, but if you thought about getting it, it's going on clearance, so it's probably not gonna be around long. If you're interested, grab it now. Other than that, I don't see anything new from any other model makers or any other websites out there, so that kind of makes for a short news this week. But before we get to the question of the week, one thing that I do wanna mention, I've always been open to requests and it takes me a while to get to them sometimes especially this past summer with with the move and everything one thing that i decided to do here very recently was to put together a google sheets document where i can put the viewer request in it and have little check boxes saying you know the status of the model whether or not i've ordered it whether or not i have it if i'm working on it if i'm working on the build if i'm working on the edit because it is a process to get these models, get them built, get the video edited, and get it out there. And just to kind of try and keep people informed, I've decided to put this document together, and I've included a link in the description down below, along with other links to two other things that I've talked about this week. There's a link to that document. I'm going to try and include that link in future videos so that 
anyone who wants to can go look at the viewer request to see if I've already requested it, to see where I'm at on their request, or honestly, if you've made a request and you don't see it on that list, let me know because that's one of the reasons I wanted to become more organized with these things because I think it's possible I may have missed a request or two, and for that I apologize. Normally I just keep a list in my phone, but I don't always manage to update it. Hopefully this way I'll be more organized and you'll be able to see what's going on now. I'll say that, I'll add to that, I do try to get to these requests as much as possible. There are going to be times where I'm going to, I will, going to want to build the model that quite frankly I want to build. And there are also times where models are being sent to me either from fascinations or from someone else and I also try to spend time getting to them. So as it is right now, while I'm working on this list, I also have some models from fascinations that I'm working on and I try to juggle and attend to each individual list, kind of go around, spend one one week or one build period working on a requested model and the next one that I do will be off of something maybe Fascination sent me, the next one may be off something that a viewer sent me. So if you wonder why you see the next one on the list isn't out, it's because I may be working on another project. Also some of the models I may already have in stock, somebody's requested it, I might jump on that one a little sooner and make and then while I wait for another model to come in. There's, there's different factors, but I do try to get to them all, and if you want to see the list, there is a link down below. So that brings us to this week's question of the week. Actually, last week's question of the week. I had asked what you thought of a builder's meetup, I, where you organize a group of people who are into th building 3D metal models. You get them together and maybe share builds, share tips, build stuff together, help each other out, just just a, a meet up, a meet and greet, two or three hours where you just kind of share the hobby. And I, I asked what people thought about that idea because it's something that I would like to ultimately work my way towards. I just wanted to see what other people thought of it. And Walter J. Schuler made the comment about this week's question. I think it's a wonderful idea. I know there's been a few build parties that people have done from the Metal Earth Facebook group. Always seems to be a fun time. I personally like taking models to the VA with me, and I have done some builds there with others, similar to your class. It would be great to spend time with other builders and talk shop, share likes and dislikes, tips and tricks, favorite tools, etc. Great idea, Brad. So it's good that I'm not the only one that's had this idea. I do, I am part of one of, at least one Facebook group where it talks about Metal Earth models, and I'm honestly not very active on there because there's a lot of different groups. I've got a lot of things going on. I do occasionally check in on it, but I've not really noticed any of the parties. So thanks for bringing that to my attention. That's, that's great that people are out there doing that. Metal Mania 3D. Yes, awesome idea. I was discussing this beginning of the year. Awesome, great idea. If I remember correctly, Metal Mania is in Australia, so that's great that there are people in Australia wanting to do the same thing. Hopefully they can get some build parties together and share, share some ideas and have some fun. Chris Paskowicz, the group idea sounds good if you can find enough people in the area. And that is the biggest obstacle. And one of the things that I'm hoping that with the 3D, the Metal Earth model class that I've been doing, I can bring some people into the hobby through that, connect other people, and maybe start an occasional meetup here locally. Jay, I think it's a great idea to have a sort of metal model club, but also think that it might be tough to find enough people in a small geographical area. I would love to be part of something like that, but have yet to find another person in Chester County, PA, that even knows this hobby exists. You know, this is an idea that's been in my head for quite a while, and that's the main obstacle. I've been active in on Instagram and in the Metal Earth subreddit and a couple of other places where I've connected with a lot of people that make these Metal Earth models, but they are spread all over the U.S. and it doesn't seem, I've not really connected with anybody locally around me that's into the hobby as well. So it's, that has been the biggest obstacle. It sounds like a great idea, but it is kind of a niche market and the people that, that are into this hobby are pretty thoroughly spread out, not just across the U.S. but in other countries too. Well, thank you very much everybody for responding to that question. It was very interesting to hear what you had to say and that a lot of people are in the same boat as me. It's hard to find people who are in the same area that would want to get together. So I guess that explains why a lot of this stuff is very popular online. 
For this week's question of the week, I want to ask, what is one thing you wished you knew before you started building 3D metal models? It's a pretty simple question, but perhaps a thought-provoking one. As always, leave your comments or answers in the comments down below. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. Thank you for commenting and interacting. As always, keep on keeping on.